Hi guys, BTEC here. Today, Lossless Scaling just released another major update, version 3.1. They claim it now has improved image quality, even on lower flow scales. They also say ghosting is better, border handling is improved, and UI detection is more refined. Plus, they introduced a new performance mode. They claim it can reduce GPU load by up to two times. Let's test and see how this works. Before we begin, if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm testing this on a mid-range laptop from 2020. It's a Dell G5 SE with a Ryzen 7 4800H processor, RX 5600M graphics card, and 16 gigabytes of RAM. There's no CPU bottleneck, so most GPU-heavy games will perform well on this system. Let's look at the new UI. There's not much change here. The only new thing is the performance mode toggle. If you want a full tutorial on how to use this software, click the pop-up button right here. Now, let's test the gaming performance. I'm using Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. This game has no built-in frame generation. At 1080p medium settings with FSR on quality mode, I get around 60 to 70 FPS without frame generation. Let's activate it. I set flow scale to 100% and the adaptive target to 120 FPS. As soon as I turn it on, the base frame rate drops to between 58 and 35 FPS. That's a big drop. But with frame generation, we still get a consistent 120 FPS. I can feel a little input lag. Not too much, but it's noticeable when using mouse and keyboard. With a controller, it feels better. Now I'll enable performance mode. The base FPS goes up to 42. That's a 20% improvement. Also, input lag is reduced. It feels much better with mouse and keyboard now. Let's compare that to reducing the flow scale to 55%. At 55%, I'm still getting around 42 FPS, but I can see a bit more artifacting. Now I'll turn on performance mode again, with flow scale still at 55%. No difference. So, performance mode doesn't seem to do much at lower flow scales. If you use performance mode, keep flow scale at 100%. Here's a comparison so you can see the differences. Now let's talk about movie watching. Since it's not GPU heavy, I only tested with and without performance mode at 100% flow scale. In performance mode, I saw some visual artifacts, so I don't recommend using it for movies. For cartoons or anime, it depends on what you prefer. Personally, I don't like frame generation in anime, but for sitcom style cartoons, I don't mind it. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.